Cassava is the most valued staple food in northern Uganda and plays a big role in the livelihood of a big population in this region. The region is the second largest producer of cassava in Uganda, accounting for 34% of the national production. Cassava production in northern Uganda had been affected by the long civil war that lasted over 20 years, as well as poor weather conditions, poor farming skills and lack of quality seeds for farmers, according to researchers. In order for AgriQuest to achieve its objective, which was to develop and disseminate resources necessary to make informed, ethical and quality standard best decisions in support of a more just and equitable food and agriculture value chain system, a team of researchers from Makerere University Business School, led by Dr. David Katamba, traveled back to Oyam district to disseminate the findings from the previous research about the cassava value chain. The team met the agriculture policy implementers in the district to whom they presented the findings of the project funded by Netherlands Ministry of Foreign Affairs through NWO Watro. Makerere University Business School, MOPS, is the lead research institution. Other core implementing institutions are the Semwanga Center for Agriculture and Food Limited, VA University Amsterdam, and Chibedi and Company Advocates. Patrick Odiomo, the district agriculture officer said that they are happy with the policy used by the research team to disseminate the report and it will help to get close to the farmers and solve their underlying problems. From the, 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 the research work we have uh, been having, we have even learned about the, 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 the presence of the East African Council standards, uh, which is uh, looking at the quality standards of some of these we thought we, it was only on maize, okay, on the cereals, but now that it has come to for cassava, I think it will be now our duty to improve on that. And now we are going to improve on is just to look at uh, the relationship in the valley chain, because we have so many stakeholders there. But you find that many of these guys have been doing their own things, especially the traders and farmers. They have not been. Uh, trusting each other. The but farmers will also value the cassava standard and add value to production. The research team also gave them data and encouraged them to keep on checking themselves because there is a considerable lack of attention to these two issues in agribusiness value chains in Uganda. One, ethical behavior and two, quality standards with respect to accelerating transformation, competitiveness and sustainability of a vibrant food security program and agribusiness. AgriQuest's aim was to address a fundamental question, how can we have a better business climate in Uganda that fosters a permanent and positive gradual change in practices and attitudes in agribusiness towards ethical behavior and quality standards in food security and agribusiness initiatives. Agricast used these engagement processes, capacity building of farmers and value chain players, wide consultations and stakeholder engagement to ensure buy-in, uptake of research outcomes and knowledge exchanges. So we have come back to share with you what we got from you. We have designed for you some good materials from what you gave us. And these are the materials. These are the materials. And so we'd like to first share the video documentary of how we interacted with you, what we found out. The researchers presented video documentaries which were well summarized as well as the booklet on the Code of Responsible Agribusiness Conduct in Uganda and the international and local quality standards and policies which were translated in the local language to ensure more effective utilization by the bottom of the pyramid players in their respective value chains. With the exception of Uganda National Bureau of Standards, which is the standards body in Uganda, most of the stakeholders who interacted with AgriProFocus, Netherlands Embassy, Directorate of Ethics and Integrity, Nogamo, and AgriQuest felt that it is important to have ethical agriculture practices and voluntary in-house quality standards, for example, how to store cassava and keep it safe from diseases and how to dry cassava without stepping on it. 
most agribusiness and value chain players at the lower levels of value chains studied are not aware that they are part of the international food and agriculture value chains. Most farmer groups in the district had contributed to the sharing and learning of good agricultural practices, though the farmers did not allow them. My name is Tommy Opio, Chairperson Lorna Tenteko, Cooperative Society. So this organization deals with the farmers and production. So today we are very happy to welcome the Greek case team in our cooperative society. So we have welcomed them in a good way. They have learned us to see how to dig cassava very well and keep it very well. We have given some information and some understanding tools for farming. Ekwara Robert, the chairperson LC3 of Loro Sub County and also cassava farmer said they're trying hard to change from previous farming methods to modern systems and the findings by the AgriQuest research team will help them to check themselves voluntarily on their quality and standards. The chairman also said that they have a challenge of cassava buyers buying their well-processed cassava at the same price with poor quality cassava which discourages the farmers. Because if you're saying you improve, you do you make the quality and then you get the same price with those who did not make the quality. So there is no difference. That's an encourage people to add value to cassava. Oyuru Anthony the chairperson of production, marketing and natural resources said most of these issues are not handled well, so he advised the farmers to talk to the district agriculture officer to see how to uh, deal with these issues. I would like only to thank you very much for providing us with these materials. I hope uh, for us as politicians, we are very good in taking a message to our people. We shall deliver the message to them and the uh, technical, technical part of it will be handled by the extension workers and it is good that they are all here. I hope they are going to implement what they have learned from here and it is good that uh, this book is written in a, a local language whereby anyone who speaks Luo is able to read and understand what is here. A Lori Francis, the Agriculture Extension Officer of Loro Safti Village, Aboloneno B, said that diseases like cassava mosaic disease and cassava brown streak disease that attack cassava have led them to fail to meet the standards required. Causing rot of cassava tubers. When you in, cut the the, in the soil here. When you cut the tuber, you will find those black rotten strips from top of the tuber to the bottom of the tuber. But the leaves are very clean. Even the stems are as well very clean. The commonly grown cassava in Oyam district is TME 14. The district has reported a significant increase in cassava outputs. This has been attributed to the availability of improved cassava variety to the farmers. In spite of this increase in cassava production, farmers are still facing challenges of low prices due to lack of processing equipment, unreliable weather conditions like floods and drought, pests and diseases, bulkiness of the cassava, lack of access to credit and training. Majority of the farmers in Oyam also don't keep records. Results indicated that although farmers were trained in cassava production, most of them did not adopt the technology and therefore the need for more training. Post harvest handling and value addition is still very poor combined with limited processing material. The researchers also realized more effort is needed to improve cassava cuttings by assisting farmer groups to set up multiplication gardens and train them in good ethical practices. Furthermore, 
the project should facilitate creation of partnerships between farmers and other private actors, such as processors and other big buyers of cassava, so as to create better market for the farmers to supply cassava cuttings. Emphasis should be put on the promotion of improved post-harvest handling practices and strengthening farmer groups with value-adding technologies through provision of knowledge and skills to process various products from cassava.